Number 20, write the recurring decimal 0 0.32, recurring with the recurring dot only on the 2 as a fraction. You must show all your working. Okay, so now, a recurring decimal like this one, 0 0.32 with the dot on just the 2, can be written as 0 0.3 and then the 2 just continues on forever and ever. Okay, if it was, for example, just 0 0.3, then that would be 0 0.3 and that 3 continues on forever and ever. If it was, for example, 0 0.312 and there was a dot on the 3 and the 2, that means this is like the pattern that continues on. So it just repeats 312, 312, 312 and so on. Okay, so this is a little background in case you're not sure. So the recurring d dot is upon the 2 only. That means this recurring decimal 0 0.32 the recurring dot is equal to 0 0.32222 continuing on forever. So let's say, let's just start off by saying let x be equal to 0 0.32 recurring. So therefore we can say x is equal to 0. Point, let me write it over here. So x is equal to x is equal to 0 0.32 2, 2, 2, continuing on forever. Okay, now, for me to change this into a decimal, uh, so into a fraction, what I want to do is, there's different ways of doing it. I, what I like to do is, is I like to write it so that I have a one or well, two expressions with the, um, the pattern that repeats after the decimal points. Okay, so for example, if I multiply this whole equation by 10. Let's call this equation 1. If I multiply it by 10, I'm going to get 10x equals 0. Point, sorry, not 0. Point, multiply both sides by 10. This is going to be 3 point. And then 2, 2, 2, 2, continuing on forever. Okay, so I've multiplied both sides of this equation by 10, and I've got equation 2. That's 10x equals 3.22222. So that's one equation where I've got um, the, the pattern starting after the decimal point. If I take equation 1 and I multiply by 100 as well, okay, then I'm going to get 100x equals, and if I multiply this by 100, that will move two spaces, it will be 32 point, and then you'll have all the twos after it, continuing on forever. Let's call that equation 3. Now I have got two equations which um, started off from the same equation, which was x equals 0 0.32222. These two equations here both have the decimals with the pattern repeated after the dot. The whole pattern is repeated after the decimal point. So now if I take equation 3 and I take away from it equation 2, if I subtract these two from each other, I'm going to have 100 minus 100x minus 10x, which is 90x equals and 32 minus 3 which is 29 and all of these recurring decimal points when you when you subtract they're going to just disappear because it's exactly the same thing after the decimal point when I subtract them it disappears that's why I wanted to have the recurring decimal right after the decimal point the, the recurring pattern right after the decimal point just makes everything neat that way so now I can say that means if I rearrange this x is equal to 29 over 90 now, that doesn't break down. 29 is a prime number. So we can say that, therefore, 0 0.32 recurring is equal to x, as we said. And x is equal to 29 over 90. So this must equal 29 over 90. And there we have the answer to this question. Okay, so that's how we deal with changing recurring decimals to fractions. Okay, thank you for watching and the other questions can be found in the playlist which is has a link to it in the description box below.